Hey, gang, real quick before we get the old show started, let's talk about these live days we got coming up. It's the Keep It Moving 2021 tour, and we're coming to a town near you. We're going to be in Atlantic City, New Jersey, June 18th. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to be in Chicago for our fourth and final show on June 22nd. Then we're heading over to Indianapolis, Indiana at the Helium over there on June 23rd. Get some tickets, and then we're coming back Thursday night. Back to the Windy City for two sold-out shows. So if you heard a date on there that wasn't sold out, buy some tickets and come see us. It's going to be a great time. Yeah, guys, the live show's awesome. It's stand-up, and then we play AYG with the audience. We answer your questions. It's a good fucking time. Get involved. See you there. Oh, baby. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, Mm -hmm. and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is R.U. Garbage. Sure is. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they grew up to be classy or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Mm-hmm. I'm your host, Dave Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. It's a family episode. I'm feeling good. She's out of town for the weekend. <laughs> Where's she at? She's down the shore, man. It's she's, Memorial Day. She's their problem. Yeah. She's down ashore. That's fucking. She's, she's North Wildwood PD's problem. Yeah, she's out of our hair. Yeah, let her stay down there for the summer. I'm fine with Get it. Get a job at Flanders or something. I don't know. Whatever the kids do down there, pumping uh, custard. Sure, it's good stuff. Uh, sitting directly across from me from the Miami office of where you <laughs> from AYG South, baby. <laughs> Who think the new floor manager at Fuddruckers? This guy's a real pain in the ass. I feel like I work at Kahunaville. <laughs> this guy's a real stickler. Make sure you do your silver. It's my cabana where I stop by Rudy's. You look like you're going to go bowling in the Bahamas. <laughs> Toby, you do your side work? <laughs> this, guy's, this new guy's cracking down. Look out. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Woo! this man goes by many names. What Pinhead, are Bozo. Oh, God. It's gonna but be around one, this time It's going to be one of those episodes. Around this time yeah, of the Around month. paycheck time, you really butter me up. We all refer to him as Mr. Ryan. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Kevin James, <laughs> everybody. The, the jig's up. The fucking account's <laughs> empty. We're screwed. We're tanking. <laughs> a couple of fucking suppliers didn't pay. Things went belly up. Yeah, for a little inside baseball, we're getting banged over the head right now. <laughs> Talk about coming Anybody up. Anybody got 20 bucks I can borrow to make it through the weekend? Hey, Patty, that necklace is going back. <laughs> Maybe catch you at Halloween or something, honey. Oh, God. Hey, what's up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video <laughs> available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are true. The roof. True. The roof. Not a fan. Not a fan of what? that at all. Of I what? like a traditional true to roof. That's the kind of guy I am, right up the middle. Okay. No no bells and whistles. Way to yes end it so far in the first <laughs> fucking 90 seconds, you jerk off. I just sat here and let you shit on my shirt for fucking 45 seconds. You can't, I love this you shirt. You can't roll with the fucking, with the true to roof? God damn it. Uh, and then also Patreon.com. You can sign up. You get bonus episodes of AYG. You can get episodes of Hard Feelings, which uh, if you're not familiar, it's me and Foley uh, behind the curtain a little bit. Behind the curtain. It's a lot of, somebody said it's like uh, you guys do Festivus every week. It's oh, the yeah. airing of grievances. The airing of the grievances. Whatever's been the fucking hard feeling. If I've been bothering Foley, I hear it. If he's been bothering me, he mm-hmm. hears it. It's a whole. It's a fucking. It's like an HR meeting. In or there. if the world's just getting you down, whatever it is, could be traffic, could be anything. It's not all. It's all hugs and kisses over there. I'll yeah. tell you that. Our Patreon's cooking. Shout out Rough. to everybody on the fucking Patreon. We love everybody. If you ever subscribe to, to fucking iTunes, YouTube, we appreciate it all. Thank you so much. Yes, we love you guys very much. Quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the Magic Man, the T Bone McMuffin. He, he he hangs with the homies a lot. The homies. And we we shit on the homies. Oh, we met the homies. Met the homies. Fucking salt to the earth people. I'm telling you right now. Love the fucking homies. Love this guy, T Bone. Everybody loves you. What's up, T-Bone boys? T-Bone McMuffin, Toby McMullen, everybody. Hey! hey I didn't know when T-Bone. to talk all that intro. You <laughs> said my name about 15 times. <laughs> this host today is a real cowboy, I got to tell you. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you. If you hear about a party in Arizona in two days, I got the crew for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
T Bone, I met T Bone's buddies. They're nice, but did they're... you meet the extended version of what I saw? I, saw, I met the twins. I met the twins, and they're exact. If you made me, if you made me close my eyes and describe T Bone's friends, it's these two fucking kids, <laughs> long hair, high as a kite, two skateboards, fucking <laughs> having at it. They're not identical, maternal twins. Different moms. <laughs> 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 I swear to God, those two would be the first. Oh, Man, yeah, they yeah, were yeah, they yeah. were a cast of characters. Yeah, but great dudes. Shout out to the homies. Shout out to the homies. Big shout out. Big yeah. shout out. They all the homies left today. Door closed. I've been keeping it together. <laughs> Had a big weep on the couch. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you got, long, it out. you got a long rainy weekend ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> It ain't all sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> so that should do good for you. You got some PlayStation, some Domino's money, huh? Yeah, some razor blades, <laughs> some rat poison. <laughs> get- <laughs> a couple of revolvers. If I was you, I'd go out and get like three or four outfits for the cat and start taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Mr. Mittens in a raincoat. <laughs> his name is Lil Stank, and you'll put some respect on his name. Uh, oh, my God. Gang, it's a fucking family episode. It's me and the Kip Kip Arino here. Mm-hmm. Uh do you want to? I'd listen. You know, I I joke. Sure. I think I think you're a fashionable guy. Thanks, pal. I like what you're doing. This Thanks. this seems. This isn't the guy I know. It's a bold kippy. I got to be honest. So I bought it. The kippy I know wouldn't walk around, and that's not even. That's like with these kids. This is that's not an Uncle Hank. No, this Hawaiian is a cool shirt. It's yeah. a cool shirt. It's from Zara. I'll make a couple of bucks. Zara. I'm no longer H and M. I've upgraded to Zara. Zara's baby. in the fucking Hawaiian shirt game. I didn't know that. These are big. Everyone's doing these this big year. Big this year. It's big. I, I. You feel like a bo- I'm walking down the street. I pass nine people with like a similar shirt. Bozo. On. It is what it is. Are you um, gonna switch to red stripe? <laughs> That's why I like DXL. Dos Equis, I'm the most interesting kippy in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I don't always shop at Zara, but when I do, I, look I like get a, a double XL. <laughs> it's a large. Um, doesn't button. That's why I like DXL. Everything's one of a kind. <laughs> I only made one. Kippy's ready to pick up some dusty muff on the shuffleboard court. Oh, uh, yeah. We're we'll be all over that shuffleboard court. <laughs> and all at Bell Del Boca Vista. Um, I, uh, I bought it. Um, but, 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 and then I wore it to uh, I wore it to this past weekend to a barbecue, mm-hmm. and I got wow. my, my friends are sat like I like you know we we're I'm from a ball is this bar- the look you showed up in with it open open I, I think mean, I you look like an FBI wire man yeah be- <laughs> <laughs> you, you look like you should be in a van right yeah, now I'm fine with it <laughs> um you're backing up Donnie Brasco somewhere <laughs> forget about it. <laughs> Hey, Donnie, what's forget about in me? That's on Paul Giamatti. I got a cold beer on my head. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Now, is Johnny Black the same as Johnny Red? No. Um, you stink with a ham sandwich. Look at you. <laughs> Brown paper bag. Um, And I was real nervous. Did you I'm take like, heat? No. I thought I walked in. I'm like, I did. I was ready to just fucking. I thought I was going to be pink mist the second I opened the door. Just a head shop. <laughs> But uh, we're sitting there, we're out front smoking, and someone goes, "Yo, dope shirt," and I'm like, and then everyone, "Yeah, it's cool," and I'm like, "Cool, wow, I, dude!" It, it was like a, it was like a pep talk to get out of the it's car. It's just not you. That's I the know. Only thing. Well, it is now, baby. Get used to it. Kippy's <laughs> 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 coming in hot. I don't know. If that's a good thing or not. I don't know if this I'm is you. Into tur- it. I don't know if this is you turn because because it has a it has a I'm about to be on the run in South America kind of vibe to it. It's it is what it is, baby. We're figuring it out day to day. You could have a suitcase full of yayo in a private plane somewhere. <laughs> oh, you trying to hang out? <laughs> By the way, Foley was sending us fucking private planes on Craigslist. Two hundred twenty-two thousand. We can get a Cessna. <laughs> you got three. Cessna. You literally just told me have three hundred dollars in your bank account. <laughs> You're fucking shopping for private. Yeah, because accounts payable screwing us at the end of the month. <laughs> fucking jammed up over here. <laughs> now to keep that river. I told Tony. Also, it was everybody a- knows now. So also, now everybody. Ex- Specs. Also, the plane was from 1976. You probably up kept it. Yeah, up kept so it. is that an shirt. Antique. Yeah, I'll take it. Zara, <laughs> baby. 34.99. Zara is pretty good. It's nice. You can't really argue with that. Nah, I'm stepping my game up. You know. But the fact that everybody's doing it is trash. I noticed that. Started to annoy me. I got because I got to figure my situation out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not used to you and Black. You look like the evil Foley. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you, you 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 look like you killed the fucking Hawaiian shirt Foley. And this is it. You look like you're about to screw. You look like a bad guy in a movie. So he's the funny guy, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You look evil. <laughs> you don't look. Yeah, Black isn't isn't fitting for you. I like Black. 
I'm all black. <laughs> You're the only guy black isn't slimming on? <laughs> it's an eclipse. <laughs> Super moon last night. And, an, and a lunar eclipse. Strange vibes out there. Got to watch out. Maybe that's why you're wearing this wack- wackadoo shirt. I bought it a week ago. That doesn't explain anything. <laughs> I bought it a week. Living my best life. Wait till you see my new shorts. Uh, you, you're, not, you're not wearing any- I got the I'm, I got the Euro cut bathing suit for Wild What? <laughs> oh, yeah. My fucking hoagie crusher. <laughs> 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 this guy walking around with two racket balls on. <laughs> I got a, got a roll of quarters in the front. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait a roll of cool. No, I would. Uh, what's that shirt made out of? What's the fabric? Terry, not terry cloth. Um, linen. There's no linen. There's no linen pants coming, right? I've I've perused the matching what are you, linen. Fucking Andy <laughs> Dufresne over here in San Juan Tenea. Yeah, We're not there yet, buddy. You're still climbing through the sewer. Whatever. Dragging me along oh, with you. Oh, man. Jesus oh. Christ. This guy's, I've been trying to get this guy successful for a decade. He's just got his heels plugged in the sand. You better put your St. Martin wear away for uh, a little while. I was just I was just looking up fucking trips to St. Martin. And you're yelling at me for looking at planes. <laughs> yeah. How are you going to get down there? <laughs> how are you, you going to get down there, Kippy? <laughs> it's like 400 It's better than dragging me to the airport all the time. We can get a private plane for 300 grand. Put Who something has on 300 it. grand? Oh, you, got, you only got to put down 10%. We'll come up with that in a couple uh, of months. I found out my stepdad's been watching Plane Repo, where they re- like you can fi- you obviously finance those planes. <coughs> you got a lot of those. That's like, what I'm saying. We can finance stuff. it. We'll get some old drunk to fly it. <laughs> we do. We're barely covering rent this A couple month. of birds to play hostess or whatever it is. Uh, you both attendance. just canceled your Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> 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 See, Tootie's runs, Tootie's runs like a well-oiled machine. Hey, you got to tighten up the ship every once in a while, you know what I mean? <laughs> Don't forget where you came from, you know what I mean? And usually that's when you, when you look into your fucking Navy Federal account and you're coming up red. <laughs> Uh, dude, I had You're a below ne- deck. I don't know what's say. going on, but I had a negative balance on PayPal today. It said, uh, <laughs> "What the fuck, I don't, man? I don't know how. I owed them fourteen sixty seven. I was first time I ever saw it. I opened it up and it said red negative fourteen sixty seven, and I was like, it's linked to my cards and my bank account. We I don't get, know. We gotta get Giuliani here. Giuliani <laughs> in here. I don't know. Fudge these numbers a little. I don't bit. know what's going on, but Tootie runs like a well oiled machine. Unless if somebody doesn't play ball, <laughs> then it's the fucking house of cards crumbles. <laughs> Toby's legit Yikes. scared for the future. Nah, you'll be all right. We'll find you a good home. <laughs> I'm chilling. I don't spend my money. <laughs> yeah, either do I. <laughs> <laughs> I take this shirt off. I have the exact one under it. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, we're having a fucking good having time. a good show in the real trash uh, colors. Um, that's a cameo app. You can I know <laughs> uh, we put an end to the cameo, yeah, but no we might have, might have to dust it off in these next couple of days. <laughs> Got a birthday coming up. <laughs> <laughs> it's graduation season. <laughs> we'll come to the party. Yeah. Hundred bucks, you get me and Foley, and I, I need I need a sixer too. I love a nice high school graduation party. Always fucking top shelf. Nice. That's when you always found out whose parents were trashy. Yeah. The, that's when you the, first the, started. The, to the see sun it. went down. <laughs> oh man, the sun went down at a high school grad party. The fucking wackos came out. <laughs> That they letting the kids drink? Are I, they not letting the kids drink? Drink. So it was like there was a handful of parties you knew you could booze at, right? My house was one of them. It was also like don't celebrate it. Let like the grandparents and some of the aunts and uncles like let the you know let the bozos thin out a bit. And then when it's the crew, you know, twenty thirty people hanging in the backyard, you know, we can we can booze it up a little bit. Went to this one girl's party. Uh, right away you get there, it's like. They hand you a beer. You know what I mean? Not, they're not asking who's driving, who's doing nothing. Yeah, usually the classier ones, the food is kind of presented first. Yeah, There's yes. a mom, or, or maybe, the, you know, it's a good sign is if they're doing like high-end cocktails. <laughs> sure. You know what I mean? When they're yeah. throwing out like a batch of apple martinis there. There's a shaker going. Or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. But we were at this Solo one Solo cup and a half warm beer. Yeah. That may or may not have a ping pong ball in it. My buddy Pat got so drunk at this party. The, it was still daytime, and the grandmother was still there, and he threw meatballs in the pool. <laughs> and meatballs was his cousin. <laughs> Meat, meatballs was the dog. Meatballs, get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so I remember this this girl's dad. They were like, someone was like, "Yo, where can we smoke weed or something?" And he's like, "What? <laughs> you're wearing a tank top, dude. If you're a dad wearing a tank top at a grad party, it's a tough look. Okay, put some <laughs> fucking sleeves on. Your, your baby, arms. your baby girl just walked down the aisle. Walked down the aisle. You're definitely not a sunscreen man, no. so you're burnt. No, <laughs> yeah, he was. He was like a. Yeah, he was. He was he was brown. He He's was got the oven mitt on one hand for the grill. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No apron. This guy <laughs> no, going. No apron. And he's or if he does have an apron, it's got that you lift it up. It's got that big dong on it. Did you ever see one of those? Oh my god! Did I see one? My uncle broke one of one of those out on oh. me when I was like, he like had it at the party. He's like, oh look at this, and I thought. I was like a fucking eight. I was like, is that how big they're supposed to be? Because I am. This thing was like two and a half feet. I was like, I'm way off. If that's the case, I got to go to the doctor. That would be like <laughs> nothing. <on top. laughs> Ma, make an appointment. Yeah, I'm fucked over here. I got something medically wrong with me. I just thought it was the Irish curse. Ma, fire the pediatrician, will you? <laughs> that's a tough look. I, th- that would be like a sex crime today. What? Fucking if somebody <laughs> yeah. did that in a... Not, I, uh, at, not I at my remember, house. I remember my uncle fucking doing that bit, like, in <laughs> real time. Playing it, hide the sauce. It was, it was like 85 or something like that. Yeah. He was just out there cooking and showed us, and it murdered. Oh, yeah, it killed. It always Holy killed. cow. Oh. You can't be doing that these days. Oh. That's trash. I remember. That's trash. Uh, I, uh... So we're at this girl's party. Everybody's fucking bombed up. I think there was like a fucking like an air a ba- an air bounce house or a bounce house, whatever. Like, <laughs> high school. Party. Yeah, that's the kind of people we I grew up with. Jesus. Fucking, and he's going. <laughs> he's, he's like someone's like yo can we smoke weed or something like he heard the conversation he heard weed he's going who's got weed <laughs> and we're like remember that song you know beanie seagull smoked a la 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 neptune smoked a la la you remember that it was like a jay-z song from, oh yeah. yeah 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 from back in the day i guess that was hot or whatever he that's the one rap song he knew and he's sitting there fucking blitz dude <laughs> wait he wasn't he wasn't asking who has the weed to tell you does not do it he was asking who's got <laughs> no, it like someone asked where's smoke? the weed someone asked where's the weed and he heard weed okay like, they didn't know he was standing there because he fucking he smells like a bar rag this guy and he's going i hope i don't get in trouble for this and he's going <laughs> you can only smoke weed if you got a bong bigger than mine and i'm like this get me the fuck out out of here. Sir, dude. will they be serving the cake soon? <laughs> Where are the hors d'oeuvres? <laughs> and he's going... Is there a gift table anywhere I can put this down? Say her. Say the girl's name was Courtney, right? His daughter's name was Courtney. He's going, Courtney smokes the la la la. And me and my boys are like, dude, fucking steal the fucking quarter keg and let's get the fuck out of here. She was getting railed freshman year. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a tough look, man. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> dude, a trashy dad at a graduation party. You can't be wearing a tank top or jean shorts to your grad parents out there or kids. If you're graduating and that's what your parents are wearing, you got to do something. No, you can't be the trashy house. No, a classy house. The the house that stinks because Kobe's doesn't. over. That's gonna there's gonna be it's gonna be popping this weekend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do it right. That shit drink once. Happened? Drink once. Everybody leaves. The sun goes down. It's you're not being a yeah, fucking. Yeah, it's animal. a normal party when the family's there. When the family leaves, you stock beers or whatever throughout it. Then do your thing. Everybody looks the other way. Yeah. Like a fucking gentleman. Yeah. Shotgun a beer in the bathroom like a gentleman. Holy I'm a shotgun shit. a beer this weekend. When the parents get too loose. It's never the kids. It's always the parents. Yeah. Bond well, they don't up. party that much. You know what I mean? I guess. Well, like, they don't. I think they're going like, oh, we got to hang with the kids. Meanwhile, I'm doing this every fucking third night. You know what I mean? I'm My stamina in high school, I was fucking cooking. <laughs> then these fucking parents try a couple of tequiza shots. Next thing you know, their panties are on their head. <laughs> Dude, I got the big man's number today. No He's shit, got the giggies. Man. Trying to fucking go toe to toe. Dude, we were at graduation him. parties that are like <laughs> parents fought kids, kids fought parents. Oh yeah. I remember the first I, time I, I dude, it was a scene. We talked about this, but I, I remember the first time I saw an adult punch. <laughs> like legit fight a fifteen year old kid or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were calling this kid this dude had longer hair, we were calling him Bon Jovi, and he did not it was like it was like at a 
uh, it was like a cousin's husband or something. Somebody oh, extended. Don't get you. Oh, Somebody's dude. cousin's he husband. Was, no blood relation. He no. just came in fucking. No, doesn't know anybody at the party and does not give a fuck. Yeah, he, dude, he punched this kid through like a fucking stack of bushes. This kid fucking, this kid ended up in the street. Disappeared like Homer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, That's that always the mark of trash. of your circle and your family. Like, oh, yeah. It's a good old graduation party. Oh, yeah. If there's no pool, tough luck. Oh, everybody's just sweating it out <laughs> like, they're, like they're going through heroin withdrawals. Get the <laughs> fuck out of there. Everybody's chained to a chair. Sitting in those chairs, sun beating down, the plastic fucking tablecloth. The chips are all fucking stale by now because the air's been getting at them. Some old deviled eggs. Uh, I think there's some beans left. <laughs> <laughs> Trash. Oh, God. Good times, though. Oh, that's funny. Gang, this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Mm -hmm. The folks at BetterHelp want to know, is there something in your life that's keeping you from your happiness? Something that's holding you back? Well, BetterHelp can help yeah, with can. a licensed professional therapist assigned right to you. You can start communicating with them under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not a self-help line. We're talking about professional counseling done securely online in the privacy of your own home. Services available to clients worldwide. Yeah, guys, if you're not familiar with talk therapy, it is a game changer. It's been a game changer for me. Uh, I started probably about five or six years ago, and it's it really helps you out. It, 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 it makes you realize where you came from, where you're going. It, you take inventory. It's, I, I can't stress it enough, especially if you're trying to accomplish something big in your life or you, you're at a tough time in your life. Talk therapy can really help, so check it out. Uh, BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. You can visit their website and read the testimonials that are posted there daily by thousands of people. But visit BetterHelp.com slash garbage. One more time, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P. And join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health <clears throat> with the help of an experienced professional. Uh, in fact, they're recruiting new additional counselors in all 50 states. They're cooking over there at BetterHelp. You that. know what I mean? Uh, special offer for our podcast listeners. Uh, you get 10% off the first month at BetterHelp.com slash garbage. One more time for you guys. Write it down. BetterHelp.com slash garbage. Gang, let's take a quick second to talk about one of our favorite sponsors here on the podcast. Who that? Fume. Woo! The Fume Inhaler. It's absolutely fantastic. It's a Canadian-made wooden inhaler with no electronics and cores that's filled only with the benefits of super plants. Oh, baby. No chemicals at it. Nope. They have the nice cores that you stuff into the beautiful little the little inhaler that they have. It's all natural. It's portable. Mm -hmm. portable. It's great for allergy relief. Um, you know what they told the chemicals to do? Take a hike. Hit the bricks. Because they ain't in them. Nope. No. It rocks. Nicotine replacement, whatever you want to do, it fits right in your pocket. You simply slide your favorite core into your fume and breathe in the benefits of Mother Nature, baby. It's that simple. Check out their variety of blends and their benefits at www.breathefume.com and use code GARBAGE, garbage for 10% off your order. Yeah, guys, uh, if you're not familiar, they sent us, they've been sending us a bunch of this stuff. It's floating around here. Fantastic. Uh, I used it to help uh, the urge for quitting cigs, which, you know, everybody, if you're, if you're, if you're smoking cigs, you got to stop at some point. Give Fume a try. It's better than the inhalers and all that, all the nicotine inhalers and the, the, the vaping and stuff like that. Um, also, they just sent, they, they got, they released something new for allergies, which I don't know if you see the pollen. You walk outside, it looks like a fucking bee came it's brutal out, out yeah, there. Yeah, it's tough. It's horrible. Uh, they have things like reassurance, which are lavender, lemon, cinnamon for calming, stress relief, anti-inflammatory benefits, bubbly lime, which is lime, lemon, and spearmint. Ooh, baby. For energy and mood boosting. They, whatever you're looking for, they got it. Go check it out on the website. You can subscribe for monthly deliveries so you never run out of your fume surprise supply. So head to breathefume.com. That's B-R-E-A-T-H-E. Fume, F-U-M, dot com, and use promo code GARBAGE. The link will be in the description to save 10% and breathe in the benefits of World Super Plants today. Oh, yeah. All right. Good time. Guys, as you know, on the old family apps, uh, when you join the Patreon, we will answer your garbage question on the air. Uh, it's just the best way to do it. We get uh, so many submissions through d DMs and emails. We just can't keep up. So Patreon, uh, when you join the Patreon, we will answer your question, and we'll get to everybody. Uh, we do some new ones, some old ones, you know, keep it fresh. You know what I mean? Some of you, some of your questions are like animal. I'm like, I don't even think I can read this on air. I'm get fucking, I might get a fucking 
It's like a misdemeanor or something. I have to pay a fine for some of these things. I can't take you seriously with that shirt on. Well, you better start because we got another about 45 minutes left. <laughs> you look like Robin Williams in fucking Good Morning Vietnam. Iced. <laughs> <laughs> he does, though. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks for that. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Uh, sure. Sure, 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 sure. What do sure. you got? Let's see. Let's see. This one's just nuts to me. I don't need... Uh, this is from Reed. I can't even understand this. Ever pour an unfinished drink back in the bottle? I guess if you pour a Coke only, like from like a two liter, only drink half and then pour it back in. I know exactly what the gentleman's talking about. You do that? You've never not finished a drink, though. This is, that's nuts to me. You pour, it, you pour a fucking 12 ounce glass of something and you can't finish it? That's, you don't, you're not a guy who doesn't drink fucking his, a half a soda. In recent, no. Usually I, I pound it. I pound everything, just whoosh, whatever it is. So no, in recent years, I'd have to say no. But I do remember pouring something back into a bottle. Oh, wine. Oh, yeah, my mom a couple weeks ago. We bought a nice bottle of wine. It's bad if you're doing it to a nice bottle. I'd let you do Sutter Home or Cavett. Which yeah, my mom she, she, we poured her a glass and she didn't want one, so she poured it into the bottle. That's a little... If she didn't want it. Then the bottle disappeared, strangely enough. Yeah. You probably walked with it. Um, no, that's trash. Yeah, yeah. I can't be doing that's that. That's a tough look. I can't even think of what you would do it with. I guess like... I might have combined... OJ or might something? might have combined the ketchup bottle or two or the syrup or that's, something. Yeah, I mean, come on. That's what, we, that's what you fucking do. Can't be having two half opens floating around. Hmm. No. You should be able to finish a drink. That gets to like... My, my, my wife has like a... One of those cups. It's like, ah, it keeps a cup of coffee hot for 72 hours it's like who the fuck needs 72 hours to finish a cup of coffee i don't get that my, I, don't, i've never been drinking something where i'm like i need this cold all day it lasts 15 seconds it's gone yeah my uh my fear is oh that boy. there's a level of garbage out there that we haven't even gotten to yet like and it's just starting to poke its head up in comments, in tweets, etc., cetera, sure. etc. Cetera. The Bigfoot thing, photographs of what people are eating. Yeah, what considered what's considered a meal. It's like X Files, like Scully yeah. and Mulder. Well, that one dude was doing like fucking pop off vodka and hot pockets the other night on Twitter. He tweeted yeah. at me. I was like, Jesus. but had the uh, the fortune cookie from Panda Express class up the meal. Hey, is no matter what, you, is that what you think it does? I think I think if you have any type of dessert or treat or a After, fortune cookie is not a fortune cookie that came from another takeout order on a previous day is not dessert. But still, they put they put the meal together in a gentleman's way. The fortune that was class to me. You have gut rot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yeah you now have gout. You're late on your bills. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you will be late on your bills in the future. <laughs> This one's like a Sophie's Choice for us a little bit because Which, we're garbage. Not that the new one. I'm sorry. Okay, I've never I've never saw the film, so yeah. I never know what that means. It's 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 a it's a rock and a hard place, right? Yeah, I think she has to. Doesn't she have to? She has to save someone, but then someone dies. So Who's, is Nicholson in that? No, I think it's the "You Love Me." You really, really love me. Sally Fields, maybe. Really, Sophie's Choice. I'll have to check it out. I have no Got idea. Got a little time this weekend. More Plans of, fell through. More of a beaches kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't get me started. You know what I was listening to on the way in here? Kelly Clarkson, Breakaway. I don't know that one. Choking me up. You know Kelly Clarkson? I know Kelly Clarkson. I don't know Breakaway. Her main hit. I'll spread my wings and I'll learn how to fly. Somebody. It's like real sing songy. <laughs> yeah, I know it. That was like an old Irish song. That's <laughs> what it reminds you. <laughs> and learn how to fly. <laughs> oh, drunk. Um, All tanked up in a bar, pretending like you know the words of Danny Boy. Oh, Danny Boy. <laughs> oh, you ever been to a concert where you didn't want to seem like you didn't know the words, so you're singing along, but you're not quite right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the last word. You're like the hype man. Been there. <laughs> Woo! That's trash. Oh, yeah. Um, all right, this one, this is a Sophie's. This is, on one end, I respect the hustle. Because we're garbage. Fair enough. On the other end, it directly affects us financially. So I don't know what to do. What? This is from Ryan. Is More it, bad news? Is it trash to share your Patreon login with someone else? Hmm. I don't want to encourage it, but I get it. Sure. Right? 
And I think it's the right answers to go like, yeah, fuck it. I, you know. I'll turn the other way. I'll be hunt. like the parents at the graduation party once the sun goes down. I've never, I wouldn't know where to send a check to Netflix. <laughs> HBO Max on top of that. Sending a check. Whatever. You don't have a checkbook. They ain't getting it anyway. How do you pay your rent every month? Check. Who's? It's not mine. Okay, just checking. <laughs> <laughs> I used to pay my rent by leaving a stack of cash in the bread box, and a different shady character would come scoop it up every month. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. It'll be in the bread box. If he gives you any trouble, go for the gut. <laughs> I had a guy when we were at Temple, he would hit you up a couple of days in because he was hemmed up. He I, was... I paid cash up until six months ago. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's trash. You shouldn't be paying rent in cash. It's a bad look. <laughs> if it's over a thousand bucks, that's tough. It's, yeah, was, that's what I'm saying. If it's like five hundred, I can respect that. Nah, I was fucking counting. And they out. weren't hundreds either. You were a no. fucking ten and twenties kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> it was like you were in fucking yeah, bad boys too with the he money. He knows counters. if he's counting and he gets it a fives early. That's yeah. not a good sign for <laughs> it's probably gotta, not all there. Gotta take the rest of the day off to count this. <laughs> Yeah, no. What were you going to say? I forget. Um, Paying cash. Yeah, I forget what I was going to say. Cash is a bad... Cash for rents. It's tough a tough look. look. Oh, check. It's not your check. No, is that a money order? No. Yeah, me either. What, uh, what are we doing <laughs> over here? Uh, Atlantic City, June 18th. <laughs> Come on out to the 8.30 show. Tickets are at it. One show. We condensed it. It's one big show we're doing since things have changed. It's all still socially distanced, but one big show. Fantastic. Um. Yeah, you know, I'd appreciate it if you know, I get a lot of money. It's, times are tough. Not everybody's got cash, and also you're sharing, you're spreading. We would be Don't. lying to say what, like I said, I've never, I've never, I've been watching Netflix for over 10 years. I've never paid a Yeah, dime. but there's no, I don't, when I watch Netflix, I don't watch Mr. Netflix. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, you're not watching him do it? They're, they're watching us. Okay. Yeah, but like I said, after dark. <laughs> Just don't post it anywhere. That's all I care yeah. about. Yeah. I don't care if you share with a friend. Sure. Help spread the word. Everybody's been hemmed up. Sure. We're currently hemmed up. <laughs> currently send it to us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, fucking Venmo me to five bucks. Yeah, send can't be the come down, bitch. <laughs> um, all right, let's see here. This, okay, uh, this is from Will- William. How long have you lived with a slow shower dream? I've lived in my parents' house with a slow sink dream. For 35 years. What are they doing over there? I don't know. Why don't you get com- them a tub of Drano? Did. They do. It comes and it goes and it comes up and they don't know when the guy comes. They've had the bathroom redone two or three times since I've been since we've been there. Twice at least. Still this fucking drain. Every time it's I'm a nice bathroom. My team, nice bathroom. Nicer I than I expected. Is. I don't know what it is. You're yeah. talking about a family who it, their toilet shits onto their lawn. Yeah. Doesn't it happen to you? In the front? There's a little bit of an issue with the with plumbing downstairs. I think plumbing. These goddamn kids putting these paper towels and these butt wipes in, in, the, in, in, the, in, the, in the toilet. How many times did he tell you? <laughs> Get out of there. Uh, yeah, that's. I forgot. You, you guys have plumbing issues all around, it seems. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's okay. That makes more sense. It's um, really more Patreon material, but oh. fair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. My father's going to appreciate this. Toby. <laughs> Tobias. Um, I uh, hey, you got like shit on your lawn. Though, don't you? <laughs> I can cut so it. So what do you care? What do you care? No, we're, okay. but I we're won't. Not, we're, yeah, we're not cutting it. Um, I was just homeless past weekend up until yesterday. Actually, I think I got home yesterday, two days ago. Um, and the the shower I grew up in. I don't know what, well, dude. It's like you're. It's like you're. You need a fucking set of waders when you're taking a shower. After I'm not 30, about that either. After it's like all dark, and I'm like, what do I, I feel like? I, I like feel that. like I'm gonna get it fucking stung by an eel or something. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there are crabs in here. <laughs> yeah, when when do we get mud bugs. <laughs> I don't like it's weird, but it's also like I get it. The, the the broad's old now, and it's the secondary showers. They got their shower, sure, you know. And she just does baths for the kids now. Yeah, they're not taking showers No. But it's like I'm like, what the You're fuck? Look at his light bulbs in those rooms. Oh, dude, it gets it's barren <laughs> in some of them. Some parts of that house. Yeah. Um, looks like a sample home. But also, we got fucking. Uh, it's too much house. Uh, we got a uh, now because we're on the sixth floor. So our bathroom sink clogs up. That's a big problem in New York City. The higher you go up, because it 
stacks on yeah, yeah, and yeah. the buildings from like 1932. The pipes haven't probably been replaced, you know, maybe once in like the fucking sure. 50s or something. So it's just like years of shit. So we get jammed up. So I got to have fucking Drano on deck. And the second it sees I fucking, you got to do it up. I'm, I'm doing it probably maybe once a week. I'm doing Drano. There's nothing trashier and nothing to make you feel more like a man when you do a full, when, when you're doing a Drano. Oh, yeah. I treat that like surgery. I feel like I'm, I feel Nobody like Nobody goes in the bathroom for an hour and a half. Don't touch it. Don't I'll, I'll cover touch I'll cover the sink with a with a oh, with a t shirt. Yeah. Don't, don't even don't even look at the sink. Pour that shit. We have this one stuff. Put a little behind my ear. We have these <laughs> we have the, <laughs> It's a new kippy. It's a good company. Uh we have these crystals that we got from the hardware store and whatever Drano is. Drano's like you pour it down and then you pour scalding hot water or something like that. After a while, yeah. This one is cold water. Oh, I don't like that. This one's no fuck around. They're like, don't put hot water on it. Blow the pipes. It's crystals, and you hear them in there cooking. It's like, it's like pop rocks and soda, baby. It's, it's exactly what it's like. You hear it working. There's this thing now that they're doing. I saw on TikTok the other day <laughs> where it's like a foam bomb you put down in there, and it shoots like it fucking... If, it's like a pipe bomb for you. It's I like just, it. Yeah, and like all this gook comes out. Couple of chair. Ooh, really? Yeah, which I kind of like. I don't want to come in the other way. Me either. Push that down in the sewer to the fatbergs. You know about the fatbergs in the sewers? Fatbergs. Fatbergs. They're like clusters of like grease and uh, butt wipes and paper towels. Oh, and I've, all seen, that shit. I've seen. I've yeah. seen. I've seen. I've seen. Yeah. Yeah. Let the rats handle that. Wait, you said uh, light bulbs. At any point in your life, have you had like one of those? Shandle like like ceiling fans that holds like three lights and like but two you're in down there. but you're down to one because yeah. the other two are in the it's in the living room it's in yeah. the bathroom. If you're ever moving Currently. a light bulb from room to room that's already in a fixture, that is a tough look. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good, especially in New York. You can just go buy a fucking you can buy one light bulb, which I like about New York. Yeah, mm-hmm. We get one of them. They open up the box, take it. It's great. <laughs> it's when you're real hemmed up. <laughs> Trish. Uh, speaking of bathrooms, this is from Chris. Did anyone, did you or anyone in your family ever have an ocean-themed bathroom? Oh, yeah. Ocean, my cousins had an ocean-themed living room, I think. <laughs> Please tell me they lived in Aruba. <laughs> no, there was, like, there, there was like seashells on the wallpaper. It was nice. It was real nice. We actually have one of the lamps in my bedroom now. It's a huge lighthouse. It's fucking Classy, no, real Listen, nice. We had it down the shore. My whole the f- everybody's got it down the shore. I know, but this was we had like a light. The the light in the light in the living room, in the be, in the I'm sorry in the bedroom. It was like two single beds, like two twin beds, and the light between that was like a three foot lighthouse that stood on the. It was like a proper, like made of wood. Like it, there was like seventeen thousand lighthouses in this fucking apartment. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that shit. No, it's like, I don't. I don't like the way. Um, just give me a regular house. I know I'm at the beach. I'm, yeah, out, I'm looking out the window. I don't like the way beach houses are, are, are decorated. Sometimes, especially renters, the ones that you rent when you were a kid. We that's what we did. I didn't like it. Yeah, like fucking crab fucking nets and shit like that. Like get the fuck. You out. get tangled in it. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Long John Silver's <laughs> trying to fucking have a vacation. Joe's Crab Shack. Yeah. You ever been to a Joe's Crab Shack there? Never been Foley? to a Joe's. No. Never been to Joe's. There's one I, I drive by on Route 1. It's closed now. But not always, the, you're not I, talking about the one down in Miami. Huh? Joe's. No, it's Joe's Stone Crab. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, this is just Joe's Crab Shack. They were advertising a bunch all over. i never been. Never been. It's a tough look, those uh, corporate seafood. I feel like they probably do pretty good, though. I don't well, know. They, I've never been to a Red Lobster, either. I wouldn't say anything's fresh. It's you don't think? Frozen. But they're moving quality, though. That's the, They're moving quantity. That's... Kind of the one thing I think they got working for them. Maybe. They're moving like fuck. They're moving units. It ain't sitting there for a couple of days. I mean, it's a you, burning turn. You, what do you think? All red lobsters are packed 24 7 all the time. They have downtime. I they know. Have but, bad days. But I'm still saying they're selling more than fucking mom and pops fucking. They're ordering more too. Got the freezers probably stacked with them. I don't think so. Probably. I don't know though. What do I know? I'm just some fucking. Poor schmuck. You I'm know not- what? You know what I do know. What do you know? Guaranteed, we have multiple listeners who have worked at Le- Red Lobster. Who Just can, gonna say that. Who can fucking tip us to what's going on back there? Hit yeah. us. Let us know, baby. Do the, do the lobsters come in fresh? Are they frozen? Are they already cooked? That's what I'd like to know. Are they already red? <laughs> they drive themselves. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> and bonus points if you worked at a Red Lobster in like Iowa. Uh, yeah. yeah. What's going on there? Just hamburger <laughs> coming under. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not doing that. A hamburger painted red. <laughs> yeah. Which I've said this before. I'm a crab guy. I, 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 I said that this weekend. I'm a crab over lobster all day long. I'm I don't know all, if it's I'm the blue. It. I don't know if it's the blue collarness in my fat. Like Are I the ju- forty cores lights in you. <laughs> they were cooking. Um, I just don't know. I just prefer it, and I feel like a fucking snob when I'm eating lobster. I feel like they know I don't belong. You know what I mean? The lobsters? No, the people around me. <laughs> hey, I don't want this guy. Eating. This guy's a jerk off. <laughs> this fucking big foreheaded motherfucker. Give me somebody with a little bit of class. Yeah. Um, trying to eat my eyeballs. What? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, all right, let's see. There's a couple of hot ones. I got a couple of hotties. Hit it. Um, this is from Philip with an F. Um, did anyone in your family or does anyone in your family or you eat things past the expiration date or borderline? How are you with borderline food? That's a great question. Um, the Foley's are many things. Garbage. Okay. Rich is not one of them. (laughs) The the one thing my mom is always extra, extra cautious with, Mm -hmm. it goes quick. Yeah. Like if we have, let's say we had coleslaw one night. The next day it's gone. She's okay. Like, well, now that's I mean, from last night. Well, what Col- do you know? It? Coleslaw is a little different. It's not. There's, it's not an it. asset. Coleslaw never had anything that was pre expir or post expiration date was served at the Foley household, unless it was frozen. Yeah, those birds freeze a lot. Too. Everything. I know it's crazy. Yeah. I mean, they every need day, to walk every, in every day before they went to work. Something would get put out for dinner. Um, there'd be that- something wrapped up in a paper towel in the sink. Like I said, I was just home, and my mom was down the shore, so it was me and my wife in the house, and uh, my wife's like, oh, is this chicken, can you ask your mom if this chicken in here is good? So I text my mom. It was like chicken breast, or like, it kind of looked like, yeah, it was like chicken breast. Was it cooked? It was cooked, yeah, yeah, yeah. A tuppy? I don't know what it was in. I didn't see it. She just said, can you ask my, it might have been in a bag, like a plastic bag. <sighs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Brown bag. <laughs> wrapped up in newspaper yeah. um, um, I love walking in and seeing so it was like, fresh it chicken. was like grilled chicken or something she goes can you ask your mom if this is good so I text my mom hey is the chicken in the fridge good and she goes no like exclamation point but this is how Jesus but she goes not for us it's for it's not good for you it's good for your stepdad because he plays by his own rules she's going he'll eat whatever he's like a garbage disposal so she's like he'll eat it but you shouldn't eat it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised the piece keeps it in there even that long. Doesn't just put the kibosh on it for everybody. Because my mom, it's He out. plays by his own rules. So it's like, he'll be I, like, what happened to the chicken? And I think she just knows at this point, <laughs> just leave the fucking chicken. If he eats it, he eats. If he gets sick, he gets sick. That's so garbage. Yeah. You're looking for leftovers. She said, how? That's the rules we play by. No, it's not good for us, but for this one guy can eat it. Yeah. With their cutlets in here? <laughs> yeah, from fucking, yeah, from the 80s. That's a good are you garbage question. Have you ever got food poisoning at your house? Oh, man. I feel like I live with food. At the <laughs> rate my bowel movements are liquid, something's happening, and it has been for 20 years. Not at the Foley's. I'll say that right now. This broad's got, I've been on the planet 45 years. 45 years, not one person food poisoning ever. Oh, yeah. No, I was being, I was kind of joking, but <laughs> sure. Said he had the runs. Yeah, I'm just saying that was more about my diet altogether. Oh. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I apologize. It's okay. I, feel like I, wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't taking shots at Patty. I didn't think you were. Yeah. What would you, what, what rating, like restaurant, restaurant rating would you give your kitchen? Like A, B, C? My kitchen at home or my parents? I think it's too mean to do parents. My mom gets an A. Yeah, my mom yeah, gets yeah, an yeah, A. Yeah. I close my place down. C minus. <laughs> yeah. I, I would need an inspector who plays ball for sure. <laughs> yeah. No shit. Somebody on the take. Give him a Patreon subscription. There'd be an envelope going out yeah. the door. The fruit flies alone would close us down. <laughs> yeah, we're good with it. Sometimes we just let it go. Like sometimes it just gets away from. We'll let it ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a great part about being an adult. Sure. That's let it one, get that's sloppy, one, that, then you clean it again. That voting, you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you don't have to do the dishes. <laughs> I didn't mean to make it weird with the uh, with the food poisoning thing. No, it's just, I'm just I just kidding. Yes, and. 
Um, it's fine. Thank you. You don't need to apologize. I want to apologize. I was just like, yeah, I get diarrhea all the time. You're like, nothing. Not 45 <laughs> years. Not once did my mom ever do anything wrong ever. I get like that sometimes. As oh, you know. Oh, man. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes you go down fucking. I feel like the more attention you draw to it, the worse it gets. So I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know I love my mom. I don't know where we're going here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. see what this next question is like. <laughs> do you love your parents? You son of a bitch. I'll kill you. <laughs> You know what I wanted to ask you? What? Were you ever a pallbearer as a kid? <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like I was too many times. Yeah, well, they were like, this one's sturdy. Get him. Um, not, not as a kid. I feel like kid. That's, that defined you as garbage. If you were a pallbearer, <laughs> yeah. if you were like 13, 14, carrying someone out. Trash. It's a tough look. Dude. It means it means there was a, it means there was an accident or a tragedy. I remember being a pop. <laughs> rem- you're not carrying your pop pop out when you're 13. I remember like cousins <laughs> or like you know like uh, like older cousins that like you called uncle. I remember fucking bringing a few of them to the promised land. Really? As like a as like a 13 14 year old kid, and they getting like whacked out by an uncle. You know what I mean? Like to the point where I knew it. I like I knew the drill. I don't need the guys at the fucking funeral home to tell me what to do. If I can stand side, pull it out. I've, I've only done it a handful of times. I think uh, Foley will move up, a, move a casket up a staircase like a couch. <laughs> <laughs> You're like an Eastern European. You got it strapped on your back. <laughs> hey Foley, the, hey Henry, the elevator's over here. Ah, I don't need it. Where it stays. What do you guys got? A mattress in there? All right, I can move that one. I'll take this one myself, boys. Why don't you guys go catch a smoke by the mausoleum? Mausoleum. By the mausoleum. <laughs> you getting one of those? You got to have cash to get those. No, probably not get one of those. And they're like James um, Dean. I had to do the... That shirt I off. had to do... Somebody uh, got cremated, and I had to, like, the six of us, like, fake... Wall, like, you pushed it. We had to do that, which is, like, real weird. What's it on? It's on, like, a, you know, a serving tray. Not a serving <laughs> tray. <laughs> That's a bad look. It's on, like, a fucking... <laughs> You take the top off. <laughs> Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got a lighter? I got to light the stern is. Uncle Denny is served, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this past weekend. Uh, oh God, this is gonna get dark. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> I saw we were going down the cremation lane. I'm like, this is tough. <laughs> T-Bone's like, this past weekend I cremated somebody. <laughs> I didn't not personally. <laughs> yeah, I paid for it. I, I, I wasn't throwing the coal in the oven. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> But I, they they threw the holy water on. It's just in a box. Sure. And they threw holy water. And I was like, "Come on, put a coaster down, man. Yeah. You're gonna stain that thing." I got. Swear to God. Who's got pledge? I didn't put. I didn't put any lacquer on this thing. <laughs> oh Jesus. Um, not in the same vein of ever being a uh, fucking Paul Bear as a kid is funny. This has ever been to your parents' wedding, which we've talked about. I have. I've been to my dad's wedding. Yeah. Tough look. That's bad. Yeah, yeah. It's real. It's not classy. It's not a classy thing. I would say it's 50 50 that one of those people aren't your real parent. Or that, does that make sense? That's more logical than it. It'd be weird if your parents, if you were there and your parents were getting married. I feel like I know somebody who had, who had a kid. And well, why weren't they together to begin with? They were together, but they just didn't get married until after they had the kid. That's a little crazy. That's a little, that's more suspect than a second marriage. I don't know. That's kind of nice. No, it's not. How about this? I knew a kid whose parents got divorced. They both got step parents. They got married. Those divorced. The original parents got back together, and then the step parents got married. What? That's a real Sophie's choice. You live on General Hospital. What <laughs> yeah. The what fuck the fuck? That? <laughs> Lincoln to North Carolina. God damn. That's a fucking. Maybe we should screw. That's, That's weird. weird. I've never had any. There's a fucking fly in here that I'm pretty sure came out of your fucking armpit. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I had a spider in my car last week that scared the fuck. He might as well have had a gun. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Where's the McDonald's, fatty? Uh, dude, I looked over. A little fat one, dude. Like, fat. Had a little purple on him. His fucking eyes were just mugging me. And I was like, what are you doing? And I fucking pushed him out the window. Rolled the window up. That was <laughs> that was last Turn week. Turn around. He's driving the car. That, listen, that was last week. We had to go to my aunt's funeral. We were in Pennsylvania two days ago. We pull up to the cemetery. 
I look He's outside. He's a ball bear. I look, <laughs> <laughs> I look outside the window. My girlfriend's like, oh, my God, there's a spider out there. I'm like, that's him. He's been in my car. Dude, there's no way this was a different spider. He looked he exactly. He could have been on peyote or something. No. He was in the car. And he wanted money. <laughs> And he wanted the goods. He was like, are you my Uber? <laughs> <laughs> are you here for Henry? It scared the shit out of me. Um, How do we start talking about spiders? I don't know. Oh, the fly that came out of your armpit. Oh, yeah. There's flies in here. That's like an omen. Oh, yeah, that you smell. We got to get out of this month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I got to. June 1st, baby. Here we go. <laughs> we gotta get out of this. My Patreon start processing <laughs> some of those fucking digits. A couple of things start falling through. <laughs> um. Uh, let's see here. This one, this is from Haywood Jablomi. Uh, <laughs> don't think that's his government name. I like it. And this is something I've never heard of. Uh, if hey, I were to say... Haywood. If, Haywood's if I, good. Yeah. Haywood's a great name. <laughs> it's a real name, right? Haywood. Like, yeah. Haywood yeah. Johnson or sure. something. Haywood Jablomi. Yeah, uh, that's great. It's a good piece of business. You kids out there. I know what they're doing. Um, if I were to say, what is it? I've never heard of this. Do you understand? Do you know what Rotten Ronnie's is? Rotten Ronnie's? Rotten Ronnie's. No. What's a Rotten Ronnie's? Do you know Rotten Ronnie's? No, I can't get over it. <laughs> Would you blow me? <laughs> <laughs> Real highbrow stuff we're doing over here. Shit. Um, Rotten Ronnie's is a nickname for McDonald's. Oh, okay, Rotten Ronnie's. Yeah. I can see it. Pretty good. I never heard of that. Sure. Ronald, Ronnie, Rotten Ronnie's. A little slanderous against a great corporation. <laughs> but other than that, uh, what's the person's question? Ever swipe milk crates from the back of a Rotten Ronnie's? <sighs> Wawa. We used to take them from Wawa for skating. You would, like, try to ollie them or, like, you know, we use them. Or, like, in the woods when we go smoke weed or build a fort or whatever, we, we took a lot of milk crates. Just throwing a lot of milk crates in my life. Never would think in a million years to go look at a fucking Rotten Ronnie's. What the fuck was going on in your town? I don't know. That's where your main supply of milk was coming through? Yeah, that's that's tough. a tough look. Yeah, yeah, you go to an Arby's like a gentleman. <laughs> Shout out to Arby's. Love a milk crate. Let me tell you that right now. Records, this, that, anything. <laughs> you, ran after, you ran out of examples after <laughs> it's a <what>? record, <laughs> And you don't have a record player. Love milk crates, records, other things. <laughs> More stuff. <laughs> Miscellaneous things. <laughs> Whatever. Tchotchke. <laughs> yeah, you have yet to name one more noun. Uh, baseball cards. Baseballs. Uh, <laughs> what, are you, what, are you, what are you, a pitching coach? <laughs> Baseballs, dude. <laughs> Generic sports equipment. <laughs> Other things. <laughs> Other things you find under your bed. <laughs> Toys. Transformers could be one. Skateboards. M baseball mitts. <laughs> Skateboards don't fit in Bill Gray. Oh my God. You are another kind of stupid, dude. <laughs> I used to, I, I had a couple. We used to put them in there. <laughs> I mean, I've seen DJs with fucking. <laughs> With sense of uh, the sense of humor is usually a good signifier of intelligence. <laughs> you're you're the perfect amount of dumb and funny. It's crazy. It's so crazy. <laughs> I don't know how that's supposed to be. <laughs> I'm saying you're very funny, but also very dumb. I put stuff oh, in my there. Head hurts. You don't have them in your apartment now. No, I couldn't get away with it now. Keeping the bed up. <laughs> Take a hell of a lot stronger. <laughs> It'd be made of, they had to be made of fucking plutonium. Get Elon Musk in there. I can work on that shit. Oh, um, my head hurts. <clears throat> yeah, from a bakery or something like that. Not yeah. fucking rotten Ronnie's. Um, oh, you don't need to eat there, sir. <laughs> Tell you that right now. You do, yeah. All right. This one's from Dylan. Have Company you, built this country. Have you ever attended a car race at a dirt track raceway? This falls more into me. We were. I was a racetrack kid going up, unfortunately. You were a low-level racetrack kid. That's not like you were out fucking in the main lawn at Talladega. No, we were... Fucking hanging out with fucking Junior's wife. Yeah, we were fucking... You were in some Fleming shithole in the middle of Pennsylvania. No, Flemington, New Jersey. <sighs> Even better. But uh, my stepdad used to race cars, and it was exciting to watch him. But I would, the main attraction, the big thing, I would get buddies to come with me. And the, the big selling point was the fucking derb, was the smash em up derby. 
What, that open for them? That, that's the closer. <laughs> it, oh, tracks, really? it tracks mayhem after that. No yeah. shit. So it was an actual race. It wasn't like a square where you just fucking cram into each other. This was an actual race, so there was some fucking... You could, like, slam into each other? Oh, dude, they would just drop, like, a dead car in the middle of the... F- they would First of all, they would soap up the track with suds. They would. They had, a, like, a fucking... Ta- like, a water tank machine? And then they would actually do, like, races on there afterwards? That seems dangerous. Yeah, so you want to fucking smash him up, baby. That's no, the whole idea. No, I'm saying, idea. like, your, your stepdad did real, real races. Yes, and then the last one was the smash him up derby. Or you would think even just putting soap on that track, it wouldn't come off for the next race. Well, I mean, this is, this isn't up to NASCAR fucking... I mean, they're trying to get asses in the seats here, okay? <laughs> it's, it's a fucking... It's, you know, I mean... They got the Oak Ridge boys. Ru- yeah, playing. Rusty Wallace isn't coming in on the weekend. They they need to, they need to fucking... They need to sell some merchandise. Is Danica Patrick here yet? Yeah. So they would soap up the fucking... There would be a, some fucking hillbilly, some redneck with a fucking... Like a... A fire, fire hose, hose and a clown nose. Yeah, with like a thing of palm olive. Oh no, but it really suds this fucking course up. And it was a proper fucking track. Suds it up, and they would drop like dead caught, like you know, abandoned cars. So you'd have to fucking maneuver around them. And these fucking tanks would come out Just already causing accidents. Jesus yeah, Christ! Whole, oh, buddy, I was a fucking, I was right up in turn one, screaming, hooting, and hollering. Oh, I imagine that'd be dangerous for the crowd or something. It would, dude. It was the ninety. I mean, somebody. Nobody got, gave a fuck about somebody anything. Somebody got bumped off out there. Oh yeah, somebody I'm got sure. whacked with a piece of funnel cake in their mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caught a firestone to the head. Yeah, I think I don't think it's open anymore. <laughs> uh, but I would totally like fucking Gillis and Six and those dudes. They go out to like Central Pennsylvania and do the dirt track. Oh yeah, the that's quarter right, mid. I think they yeah. call it, like quarter midgets with like the big fucking wing on the top. Uh huh. That's a dude. That and that fucking case of Coors Light or something. That's a good fucking time. I've been wanting to go to a monster truck show, to be honest with you. I'll go. Let's do it. We're definitely going to go. Yeah, we have to. We got to find out when they are, though. That's the only thing. They're doing Wildwood Grave Diggers on the beach. We can go down there. That's crazy. Yeah. Think I can meet them? (laughs) Yeah, maybe. Is it the same driver? No, there's multiple trucks. Oh, really? Yeah, he's not taking that down the expressway. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, (laughs) there's multiple Grave Digger trucks. It's a national brand. Oh, it's not just one car? I would argue there's, I mean, we can Like easily... Bigfoot's not, Bigfoot was the best. Classic blue fucking pickup. Nice. How many grave diggers are there? How many? That was the first thing that pops up. 41 grave diggers. 41 grave diggers? Yeah. Oh, like Bill. Been ripped off. Seven trucks currently competing. Yeah, that's a fucking circle. Like a team. Well, you're not going for the you're going for the truck. You're not going for the driver. So sure. w- someone's in Akron, Ohio, at one, and another one's in Phoenix. You're telling me Grave Diggers like Blue Man Group? Yes. Yeah, That's, yeah, 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 yeah. That just like crushed a dream. I didn't even know I respected. Yeah, no shit. So how many? As Google how many Bigfoots there are. There's only one Bigfoot. I guarantee it. No way. It's the same fucking model. You think the Bigfoot people? Just Google it, radar. You think the Bigfoot people? Well, radar. You think the Bigfoot people were looking around, going, "These grave digger guys are making seven times the money as me." Did you get it? Oh yeah. Am radar. I in the van? No, from Mash. Radar uh, O'Reilly. How many? What is it? Grave diggers? Yeah, Chuck out of the kid. How many grave diggers are there? Is that what I asked? No, grave diggers. Bigfoot. Bigfoot. I'm gonna not get not that '90s grave digger shit. Go 80s, Bigfoot. Well, there's many theories that there might be there multiple currently, Sasquatch out there. <laughs> yeah, there are currently five competing Bigfoot. Five? Yeah, with six full-time drivers and two fill-ins. 20 trucks have been made since the debut in 1975. Okay, okay. I'd love to know what that fill-in does on the side. <sighs> Something shifty. You know what tires are using over there on the big on the Bigfoot? Goodyears. Firestones. Really? Goodyears are for bozos, okay? I got Firestones. We got Firestones on the latitude. The latitude with the attitude. Oh, aren't you? Take a run at a fucking grave digger any day. <laughs> Scoot right underneath him, hit him in the balls. Who do you think would win in a dirt track race between the three of us? In our, in our car? Well, you don't have a license, so you're you out. You don't need one. Um, you on a, your board? I probably would. He's a horrible driver. Hold on. Are we in cars that we don't care about? Yes. Oh, come on. I mean... Being that he proper stops at green lights, I don't think you're going to. You're not a good racer. When the rubber hits the road, Baldy, I ain't going to be worried about that. I know for a fact. And you're a legacy, too. Imagine me beating you in front of your stepdad. Oh, he'd be pissed. Junior. 
<laughs> He'd take Junior away from you. I know for a fact. I'd show up in his car. He's still that got I would it. smoke both of you. No. Now, how could you know that? You don't even what know, where, ga- you don't even know where the gas pedal is. Yeah. I've driven. What makes you think yeah. that you would beat us? Because I'm naturally good at shit like that. No. Driving? All right. If you want to get real trashy, had a go-kart growing up. Was big, in, big into go-karts. We'd go to Ocean City, Maryland. It was like we like... It was like a thing. Well, my cousin had one. Oh, get out of this guy. I'm putting my money on Kippy. Yeah, let's Shake go. and bake. You know Days I mean? of thunder, you know what I mean? Let's go. Rubbing his racing. Fucking Trade and paint. If Cold. you have access to a track. Yeah. And you're willing to let me on it without a license. I mean, what would we race each other or do times? Like qualified times. Uh, I if mean, someone had... Okay, I'm putting it out there. Now, well, indie cars, I got used both. No <laughs> way. <laughs> you wouldn't even fit in it. <laughs> Sitting on top. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this is going out to, you know... To a lot of people, tens of thousands of people. If somebody has access to a fucking dirt track anywhere in the country, we'll fucking come out and we'll do. And we got to use your car. We got to use. Our They're car. not gonna let us use your their you, car. Yeah, you can rent this shit. It's like for, yeah, these Our hillbillies race- will let us do anything. <laughs> Cash talks. Um, we'll we'll figure. We'll do like a qualify. We'll do. Right. Well, you're not gonna fit in a fucking race car. I get in there. In a couple you months. barely fit in your jeep. Mm. <laughs> All right, no comeback for that. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of a weight loss challenge, um, the, the bell's gonna toll right after this too. Uh, yeah, he had a he just had like a bacon, egg, and cheese before. I'm like, it's a weigh in. I'm eating one one meal a day. Do they make seatbelt extenders for bucket <laughs> seats? I'll bring the ones from the plane. <laughs> Airline uh, uh, FAA air, approved. Yeah, air, aircraft grade. <laughs> Get my own helmet. Um, if you have some sort of or any, I guess any sort of racetrack. There's like they have them in they have them in fucking in Rain Jersey. We can go do them. They have like the proper they call it like the Autobahn or something. Oh, they have them at they have them up at uh Ridgefield or where's Levity Live? I just blacked out, dude. I just I like blacked how you're, out you're, for a second. You're stumbling over your words a lot more with that shirt on. You're uh, in like you're you're in half retirement mode. I'm fucking starving myself. Me and T Bone have a weight loss challenge. This fucking guy tells me he lost five pounds in three days. He's grieving, by the way, which is cheating. It's all tears. <laughs> this fucking no guy. Fair. I'm over here starving myself, fucking doing coffee and Bernies. I'm fucking wired. I'm starving too. Um, <laughs> starving. You had a croissant and a bag of chips. Literally 47 minutes it's ago. It's moved through me. My engine's running these days. I'm out. I'm more active. I'm turning and burning. Yeah, Talk about race cars. To put a pin in it, if you got access to a to a racetrack and are willing to look the other way on some paperwork, <laughs> <laughs> on some driver's license numbers, talk to the boys. A couple of floozy track girls wouldn't kill us either. Yeah, <laughs> a couple of girls to drop the handkerchief <laughs> in the middle. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking. Um, my mom would love to do that. Really? Oh, she'd be out there. <laughs> really showing the goods. <laughs> Did that was 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 drag racing ever a thing when you were in high school and stuff? No, I we never, used to go down to like Essington Ave and Philly. I never. I was all scared of that shit. I never. I thought that shit was stupid, and I never did that shit. There was this one kid, Wayne. He's gotta be dead for sure, dude. This kid, <laughs> this kid, fast. Talk about fast and loose. Wayne pushed it. Oh man. He was like, he was the kind of guy, you were just like, what the fuck? Is, I, I kept him at a dead. And I, we I ran with some nefarious characters, uh-huh. and this kid was just like, yeah. your radar's up right away. Yeah, we had a couple of dudes like that. And he would go down racing with my boys. And like, they would go down with them, and they would like spin out. I'm like, nah. Well, it was like Fast and Furious dropped when we were in high school, so that was like, that was big. People in a parking lot doing donuts and shit? That stuff was lame. I, I tried in my 96 Chevy Lumina. Oh, God. Didn't work. In front of chicks? Yeah. Strikeout. Are you wearing that shirt? <laughs> hey, see you guys later, I guess. That's mean. I don't know how that's supposed to make me feel. <laughs> Woo! All right, let's, let's power through a couple more here. Yes. We, we got to giddy up. Please, I love this. This one's from Tony P. Home run of a question. Tony P. Ever swim in public in jean shorts? I can't say I've ever swam in denim on purpose. Maybe falling in a pool, getting thrown in a pool or something, but never on fucking purpose. That was a great time to pull away from the fucking Sorry. microphone for 30 seconds. That was, uh, my, my ears were itching. That's, <laughs> dude, throwing people in the pool is garbage. That was big. Oh, that was huge. Yeah. Huge. There was no cell phones. Well, we, had, we had cell phones. High school cell phones, can't, everybody had their own cell phones. So you had to be like, oh, let me. The big thing was I, you had to come up with a way to get the cell phone out of their pocket. So you'd be like. My parents used to do that to each other. 
Yeah, because they're fucking hilt. To like, to like my my cut, they would throw each other in the pool. I remember the one kid that was like no fun. He would like be like holding on to the fence or whatever. He's like, I'll break the fence. You're like, uh, relax. We're we're wearing bathing suits yeah, here. Take it easy. Fucking Chuck, <laughs> whatever your name was. <laughs> I was always a kid who was on the like you know exal- an auxiliary player. He wasn't on the squad. <laughs> he always got called up from the minors. I remember one time at work. It's a Bigfoot fill in. <laughs> yeah, he's the alternate driver. One time, at, who was? <laughs> okay, god damn, dude. You might have to snip a little bit of that. Sometimes I think you forget you're broadcasting. I was gonna and people t- go, you get mad at Henry sometimes. I go, yeah, because I hit him in the ball, and he's over there eating a ham sandwich. I was thinking of my story, <laughs> which wasn't <Okay>. very funny. <laughs> it was about throwing a kid in a recyclable thing full of glass. <laughs> we didn't do it, but we had him when we were swinging. He was like, no, don't do it. Yeah, Like what you're saying, freaking out. But it was, you know, shards of glass that would have. Mm-hmm. Surely ripped him to shreds. <laughs> <laughs> Look like a Wolverine got him. Um, all right, this one's from Nicholas, uh, new patron. First question: Ever install an aftermarket cup holder in your car? <laughs> Those are next level trash. When you gotta like hook it into something like or, a Nerf yeah, basketball, like, yeah, it, like hooks onto yeah, something. That's really, you know what else is really trashy too? The ashtray that would go in the cup holder that you would ash in that. It would have. Did you ever see that? No. It was like, like a big. It looked like this. It looked like the Wawa cup, and then this would be like. Cylinder, like a funnel with a hole in it, oh. and you would ash in that, and then put it in. No way! <laughs> the people that had that always had the fucking the air the the things on the vents with the juice in them. <laughs> the air fresheners hit the bricks. That was for fucking Russians or something. I didn't know what that was. No way, dude! You got in your car and you had one of you had fucking cherry sauce blasting at me. You better be an Uber <laughs> driver in Uzbekistan. Yeah, Take dude. a hike with that what bullshit. The, that shit stunk. No. Get me a tree or a fucking. I used to smoke cigs to kill that stuff, dude. I, my, I for a minute, my mom had ones that had fans on them. Oh, so they were yeah, the Glade plugins. It's like this is for your basement. This is for places that have mold and not the fucking. Not your air conditioner. Oh, it's sounding like, sound like a jet engine firing up. <laughs> yeah, Febreze, I think, or somebody did. The, and the little oils, and you're like, what are we doing? Yeah, Yo, you know what's the trashiest? <laughs> it's, it smells like the fucking janitor's closet. You know what's the trashiest air freshener? It's the old school one, and we had it when we were kids. <laughs> oh, God. Where it's the jelly inside, and you, you pull it up, and it's like a cone of jelly. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I oh, still yeah. tried doing those, Dude. and my wife was like, <laughs> and it eats away at it when those things dry up <laughs> oh, it was like a civil war soldier that was left out under a tree just like and mummified <laughs> yeah <laughs> Man, the gl- you twist the cone and pull it up and they were the things like they oh, were yeah. like reuse it it was called reuse and it. i would just fucking rip it open oh yeah you don't fucking <laughs> you don't work the governor on that you fucking high and dry baby Man, those things got real those things, sad. Those smelled like urinal cakes. You walked into your house right away. You were, you were smelled like you were in the fucking. You were in the John. No, was those things. Hooters? Those things stunk, and I thought they were great. I thought I was gonna like show my wife, like, look what we got over here. She's like, what the fuck? No way are we doing that. Yeah, I really thought I was like, check these things out. Sometimes I don't realize how trashy I am. Those I think things, I'm classy. Man, you had those things when you were a kid. You were like poking at it and playing with it and shit. That and the like little a things. Fucking little dirt ball. Did you ever lick it? Yeah, I mean, he was licking his deodorant. I don't believe so. Only on holidays. <laughs> July 4th would come around. Um, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's crazy that that's like a legitimate question. The apples and cinnamon. Ask. All bets were off. Oh, that apples and cinny? <laughs> My mom still, once the fall hits, it's all apples and cinnamon. Not those things, house. though. No, candles, whatever. Yeah. You walk into my mom's house, you feel like you're walking into fucking Santa's I'll never workshop. forget, dude. Shout out to Yankee fucking sugar cookies, dude. That thing, we had one in college. I felt like I was a Keebler elf, dude. That thing <laughs> was cooking. Dude. Fucking Yankee candles, forget it. Those things would put you to sleep. <laughs> They're also like 55 claims. Talk about something. drifting away. Those things are bangers yeah um fantastic all right let's do one more and this first of all the name is super funny because it's something we it's sh- this is from sh- sh- smarted um and i'm for sure stealing this ever call getting a bunch of apps for the table sprinkling the infield 
That is fucking... That's the kind of quality questions we're looking for around here at Tooties. Sprinkle the Sprinkle infield, the infield a little bit. Get a couple Get a couple of fucking apps. That's great. Sprinkle in the infield. I've never heard it referred to as that, but that's fantastic. Oh, no, yeah. Sprinkle the I'm infield. I'm a big fan of that. Walk in, sprinkle the infield. Couple of fucking apps for the table. Let's get things started real quick while Ooh. we're looking over the menu. Let's get mussels. We'll do one red, one right. We'll do the tomato salad. Anybody want the clams? You want oysters? You want this? You want that? Uh-huh. Bring it. We just did. I went down. It was my mom's. It was it was my mom's birthday. Mm-hmm. We went out. McGurk's Horsham. In the Horsham? There's another one. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is a meter central meeting point. But fucking big table had like 15 people at the table. Talk about sprinkle in the infield, dude. Yeah. It was like Blitzkrieg with wow. appetizers. Matzas? They were dropping them things every on the minute. Some like fucking flatbreads were going, some fucking fries, some of this, some of nice. that, little edamame. Ooh, edamame at McGurk's? Oh, real nice. Look at you down there. <laughs> Spending a couple of bucks. Glassing it up. Yeah. All right. Gang, we love you very much. Thank you for everything. Uh, we'll be back next week, uh, June 18th, Atlantic City, New Jersey. Yes. We have an 8.30 show, all right? They opened up about 30 more tickets for the 8.30 show. It's going to go. There's not going to be a 10.30 show. We want it all combined into one great fucking show. Yeah. So there's more tickets, June 18th, Atlantic City, Get on that fucking grab some ticks. Also, uh, the fourth and final show in Chicago is on Tuesday of that week. I believe it's the 22nd. Mm-hmm. Tuesday, the 22nd, there's a 9 p.m. show. There's still tickets available available for that. Get those fucking ticks ASAP. Also, Indie, baby. We're talking Indie. Helium Comedy Club. Helium Comedy Club, Wednesday the 23rd. Yes. Get those fucking tickets as well. Also, people are hitting me up. They don't know what's on sale. We have Boston on sale. We have the Stress Factory in New Jersey on sale. We mm-hmm. have Baltimore, Maryland, Magoobies on sale. Coming have, to Magoobies. We have Cleveland Hilarities on sale. We have Columbus. Columbus on sale. We got Providence. We got Providence on sale, and we're adding a bunch more dates as well. Down, We're, we're going to get everywhere. People are hitting me up. Hey, do shows here. Do shows here. We're going to be doing New York. We're going to be doing Philly. We're going to be doing Pittsburgh. We're going to be doing Texas. We're going to be coming to Florida, the Pacific Northwest, everywhere, baby. West Coast, we're doing it. So just hang tight. We're waiting on all the restrictions and shit to change so we can... Uh, well, so we can wet our beaks, make it worth our while. You know what I mean? That's right. We'll have something out soon with everything on it and all that stuff. Maybe. And real quick, <laughs> real quick, I want to give a big shout out to John in the Facebook group. Organized a bunch of people who donated uh, like How a about bu- that? Johnny like Johnny Griffin. 1500 bucks to the American Cancer Society in Sam's name. So thank you so much for everybody who yeah. contributed to that. You That's guys great. are rock solid. You're absolute um, fantastic support system. We love you. We appreciate you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.